Hello everyone, this is Dan Gramza and welcome to Gramza Market Studies for Monday, February 15th. Happy Valentine's Day for everyone celebrating that. Let's take a look at that NASDAQ market. Let's see what's going on with that. Uh, we did see some follow through, that's what I was looking for on Friday's action. I was hoping to be a little more enthusiastic actually, but this is a move in the right direction. Monday, obviously we're going to have a shortened session. Tuesday I don't look for much. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is where I expect to see volatility and I'm looking for that movement to the upside. We have a lot of things going for us as we talked about in the advance video. Now the euro did get weaker. The dollar started to firm up a bit. I do look for follow through to the downside but not in a dramatic way on Monday. And if we take a look at the Canadian dollar uh, this well, I should also tell you about the Swissy. The Swissy traded below its bearish level, and the difference between the bullish and bearish level in the Swissy is four thousand six hundred eighty-seven dollars and fifty cents per contract. And that type of movement, I am looking for movement to the downside on Monday for that. The Canadian dollar did trade above. Uh, it's a bullish level, as you can see right here. The difference between the bearish and bullish level in that market is $180, $150, excuse me, uh, is the magnitude change there. Well, and I don't look for strong follow through, but a little bit of movement to the upside. In the interest rate markets, the 10 year notes did back off. I like that kind of behavior. I think it makes sense. I look for further movement, but a month quiet day on Monday. Over here in the bonds, the difference between the bearish and bullish level in that market, to give you an idea of the magnitude change, is $4,125. I do look for further movement, as I said, to the downside. In the gold market, what well, gave us that rest day we're looking for? I think that also makes sense, and I'm looking for more of the same on Monday, a quiet day. The, the uh, copper market traded above its bullish level, and the difference between the bearish and bullish level in the copper market is $1,250 per contract, and I do look for follow through to the upside on Monday. In the crude oil market, it also firmed up. And again, I have my doubts about it being sustainable, but that difference between the bearish and bullish level in that market is $3,400 per contract. And I do look for some follow through, uh, not in a dramatic way though on Monday. Soybeans, now well, this behavior I think is very logical. We're stopping to take that breath. Uh, it's 50-50 going into Monday. The structure is bearish, and I am looking for a down day on Monday, or excuse me, on Tuesday. Well, that concludes today's market studies. Thank you for being with me, and I'm looking forward to being with you again. Have a wonderful weekend, and in the meantime, take care.